Hello, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how we can add some weapons and welcome messages to our game mode. So, first of all, go into your game mode folder, mine's called my mod, and then go into the game mode folder inside of that. And you'll have these three lure files, which we've talked about before. So, open them all up in text editor. There we go. And first of all, just go to share.lure. And remember, this is the stuff that's shared between the server and the client. So, both of them use it. And all we're going to do is add in a line which says derive game mode sandbox. And sandbox must be in quotes like that. And all that does is makes our game mode have all the features and stuff from sandbox. So we can comment this in. Derive our game mode from sandbox. And just save this file because we're done with share.lua now. And just go into the init.lua file. And we're just going to change this. So this is the server file, which can delete the stuff in the player loadout function, and we're going to add some of our own stuff. So first of all, pl colons means do something to the player, because pl is our player variable. So pl colons strip weapons, and what that does is it then takes away any weapons which we've given to the player. So for example, making our game mode derived from sandbox might automatically give them some weapons. So we're stripping their weapons, then pl colons give, and we're just going to give them a weapon, so weapon underscore crowbar, so we're going to give them a crowbar, and we're also going to give them an SMG, like that, and you can also give them a pistol if you want, weapon underscore pistol, and there are tons of other weapons you can give them as well, and we're also going to give them some ammo, so PL, give ammo, Let's just give them a lot of SMG ammo, so 999 SMG1. So they now have 999 SMG ammo. So that's pretty much all we want for the player loadout, because this function's made for basically giving them their weapons and that. So we're going to have another function. Function GM player initial spawn. And that again this takes this PL, which is just the player thing. And we're going to end this function as well. So inside this function, well, first of all, just note that whenever we say GM, it usually stands for game mode. So this is the game mode player loadout function, and this is the game mode player initial spawn function. And we're going to add quite a lot into this. So we're just going to go self dot base class player initial spawn. There we go. We're going to go down here. PL. Now, all you really need to worry about this line is that it fixes some glitches. So just ignore the sign, pretend it's not there. And we're just going to say if PL, so if the player is an admin, oops, I managed to somehow spell admin wrong. So if the player is an admin, then, again, this is just a simple if statement. So if the player is an admin, then player print message. HUD underscore print talk. So this is the type of message we're gonna send. So we want it, it's basically just a message in the actual chat. And then what the message is going to say. So server welcome admin is what it should say. So if the player is an admin, then it sends a message to them saying welcome admin. And instead of ending the if statement, we're just gonna change it to an else and then an end. And in the else statement, we're just gonna say PL print message hud underscore print talk as we had before so it's the same type of message and again it's going to be server welcome to the server so we now have it so if the player is an admin it welcomes then welcome admin and if the player is not an admin it just says welcome to the server okay so that's the end of our player initial spawn function we're now going to create one more function so function gm player spawn all these functions are really quite appropriately named so player spawn guess what it's for the player spawn and again we're just going to do a bug fix so player spawn pl so it's pretty much exactly the same as the bug fix up here but in fact we're using player spawn because this is the player spawn function and we're just going to set some simple things so pl Set gravity, 
So we can now set our gravity value. I'm not sure you, what you want to set yours to. I'm just going to set mine to 1. We're also going to set the max health. And let's set it to 200. And then it has another parameter, which is just the true or false value. And basically this means, do you want this max health to affect some of the... Basically it control all the other max healths that exist. And we do. So true. We're also going to set the player's walk speed. And I'm going to set it to 300. And we're also going to set the run speed. I'm going to set mine to 600. I'm being generous. So we now have a server with a gravity. They have health, they have a walk speed, a run speed. We have welcome messages. We've controlled their weapons and ammo. And we're just going to save this init file. And we've now completed this lesson. So we're just going to test out our server. So from now on, instead of having your my mod folder inside your personal folder, we're just going to control X to cut it, and we're going to put it in. Well, first of all, go to your Gary's mod folder. It should be in Steam, then Steam apps, then your username, then Gary's mod. Then just go into Gary's mod. Then into game modes, and just paste it in here. And now what should happen is when we run Gary's mod, my mod should appear as an option. And all you have to do is you click start new game, go to the little picture of the spanner, select your game mode as the default, and then just click start multiplayer, and then you'll get your welcome message, and you'll be loaded with all the stuff which you should get. So that's the end of this lesson. Have fun with it, and have a nice day.